In this video we are finally back playing Find the Dogs. I am so happy they have updated this game. This video will only show the updated dogs. For all the other ones please do see my previous videos. I do have a playlist dedicated to this game available on my channel and all my videos do have order lists available in the video descriptions. But if you do get stuck with any of the dogs please do drop me a comment. I will always try and help you the best I can. So we have the brand new purple dog housed down by the white mansion by Spawn. And we have the introduction of some new platforms and crossings. So we now have bridges and a pipe there. I do believe that was swinging platforms last time. So I think this will make this game a bit more accessible, especially if you suck at Obby like me. Another little island area off the kind of construction site with the lemonade stand and the potato stand. And if I can ask if you do enjoy this video or any other from Judgment TV, if you can please help to support me by liking this video, drop me a comment and most importantly subscribing to my YouTube channel. Fridge door pushing me out of the way there. I mean that fridge is pretty bare, they only do eat lemons and potatoes on that little island. <laughs> On to the kind of funfair island and we have the introduction of the circus. Really like the internal area of the circus, nicely done. Doesn't feel quite like the kind of inside of a circus you'd probably sit down in. Usually there's a lot more seats but it does feel like the practice area for the performers. But for such a small space of the circus, there are so many dogs in this area. We have one on top of the lucky block. And now we're going to have to do the tightrope. Would have been so great if you would have had one inside the ring of fire. But you couldn't touch it yourself. You actually had to do the ring of fire. Even if you were on like a little bike as well, if you had to do the bike up to the ring of fire, oh, that'd be ace. Don't know what that was about. That's really interesting. I don't know if that's supposed to be sort of like fortune teller. I don't know, but would be an absolutely ace teleport. Coming back out into the city area and we have a new one on the football pitch. So behind this city mansion is what I'm going to call it, the, the big big house. Um, we have a, an inclusion of sort of a, a gothic -y castle. Um, absolutely love the look of this place. I love the statues outside. the actual platforms and maybe made them invisible. Just draws your eyes straight to those platforms so you know one's hidden there. Love the twinkly book. And of course you have the secret passageway into there, the Tibetan Mastiff. I've never heard of half these dogs. I didn't even know they existed. How many more dog breeds can they go? <laughs> it's a real shame sort of for a castle this size that aren't more rooms to explore. Um, you know, there's not much in the way of sort of, I don't know, bedrooms, dining room, drawing room, um, armory, etc. So this might be nice add in for an update a 
again that might have been a nice little area to actually kind of move or click on the tombstone and then perhaps go down to a crypt we've got a little side quest to rebuild the dog house and it's not hard like all the pieces below so there's only five of them i don't think you'd even need 30 seconds to be fair you could technically move them a bit further afield around the castle to do it up the challenge element of that. And then back at the city mansion, the big mansion, we need to go underneath um, where we found some of the dogs before. It's sort of the bunker area. You'll see some paw prints running up to it. It's just behind this curtain. Very nice little church. What on earth is a Columbus Spaniel? <laughs> I've never heard of these dog breeds at all. But going over the kind of gravestone, is it a mausoleum? Is that what you call it? Uh, we get teleported down here. Why are all the coffins open? That's weird, just like, oh, bone. <laughs> I'd probably shut some of them lids. So making our way round the map um, to the kind of fairy tale island with the mushrooms and beach, we have a bridge over to the new library island. Is that what this one's gonna be called? I'm going to call it the Library Island just because it's the biggest building there. I know you've got a, kind of got the donut shop uh, as well. Random cauldron with the Australian Terrier. How many more breeds of Terrier is there? And we have the Choose the Right Door. I was so close to the end, I was thinking that's a good run, I've managed to guess it all right. Oh look, another terrier, Lakeland Terrier, oh my god. You know what, I'm just going to start calling everything a terrier, like a donut terrier, that's what we need next. Oh what? I'm not even going to try and pronounce that dog breed. <laughs> random piano and organ in the middle of the street and a really tall gumball machine like anybody is going to be able to reach that <laughs> over to the helipad why do they make dog breed names so long some of them i mean I couldn't be going to the vet and them asking me what dog I've got or sort of somebody stopping me going, oh, that's a lovely dog, what is it? And I'm like, right, it's a blah, 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 blah. And 
what is one of these finer games without a maze? This time we are making our way through the library stacks. And we find another terrier. That would be quite easy to sort of run past if you didn't look at the hint in the clue. Absolutely love the occlusion of the last one. So we actually have to take a little hot air balloon ride across to the sunflowers. So I did notice the island with the chain on it. And I went up there and I was like, what's the point of this island? There's nothing up here. But I didn't even see the hot air balloon. The only thing I will say is that obviously the balloon is quite slow as you would expect for a hot air balloon they're not a really fast mode of transport so probably time it when the balloon is near the chain island to go and try and get on there as you are going to be waiting just a little bit for this balloon to come back. But you get a really nice view of the map at least for your travels. I can just see myself sort of like at this moment thinking I better make it onto that basket because I'm not waiting for this balloon again. Step on board and away we go. And we can now see the dog above the sunflowers that we need to collect. So just a massive thank you for all of the support, the subs, the views, the likes, the comments. If you would like a chance to see yourself at the end of one of my videos, please do keep the YouTube comments coming in. I will only feature comments and not questions just because I do get a lot of questions on my channel. But again, just a massive, massive thank you from myself. And there we have it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care and I'll see you real soon.